All right, so uh, basically what I wanted to show in this video is I re redid my trailer setup for my auto detailing and pressure washing because um, I do both. And so for the people who watch my videos on a regular basis for my subscribers, um, you know, I, I think that I've showed it. I know that uh, uh, probably about a year ago, I made a video about my uh, setup and showed it in there. So if you haven't, if you don't know what my setup looked like before, you can go back and watch that. And um, that's how it was up until just recently and I, I redid it um, so I got some new things and um, plan on getting uh, one or two more I plan on getting probably gonna get a uh, different compressor this compressor I modified um, it says it says 125 psi max um, I put a 150 psi rated um, you know safety uh, valve uh, the blow-off valve uh, that way I could turn it up to where it cuts out at about 150 and and it cuts back in right at about uh, 100 105 something like that so um, that helps out but there's there's another compressor that uh, still still at Harbor Freight but it's uh, belt driven and because the, the only thing I don't like about this is that it's so loud I mean, it's a really good compressor and I can run my Torador Non-stop and it'll keep it at 90 psi. So I do like the compressor. It's just really loud um, So the, uh, the other compressor it's got a bigger tank on it, it delivers more CFM um, And uh, I think it'll be quieter um, I'm also debating they've got a new version of my Predator 4000 watt generator. It's rated for um, a little more wattage, but I believe that it's got 15 amp max plugs, whereas mine is 13 amp max. So that that could actually make a difference. But don't get me wrong, I would highly recommend this generator. It's well worth the money. It hadn't missed a beat. Um, I just can't say enough good things about it you know it's just and and it's it's pushing it's been pushing that compressor that draws 15 amps and um, it, it's pushed my steamer and you know I can now I can't run the compressor the steamer and my vacuum all at the same time um, because it is only you know 3200 running watts but I can run two of them at the same time um, but I got a new hose reel. So my other hose reel had started leaking. And this is a North Star hose reel. Uh, it's very solid. Um, it feels, feels really nice and solid. Um, this one's got the, where you can set the drag. It's also got this stainless steel swivel. I really like that because that's the part that was leaking on my other hose reel, that general pump hose reel. Um, and it was a good hose reel, especially for the money while it lasted. So, you know, I got over a year out of it. Um, and it, you know, it was fine, but uh, I decided to upgrade to this instead of getting another one of those. Um, big part of that being because uh, you know, if the swivel starts leaking, I can either, you know, change the, uh, the O-rings out or just get a whole new swivel. So, and the handle's replaceable too. But, yeah, it feels very solid. I think it was right around $200. Um, so, you know, I'll, anybody that's interested about how this holds up, I'll, I'll make an update video about that. So, kind of the major thing, oh, and I, I wasn't, I didn't think, because this one is wider than my other one, I didn't think I was going to be able to mount it on the back. And I like having my pressure washer reel on the back instead of the side. It's just personal preference. You know, I've got my air hose reel on the side over here, and that's fine. Um, but I just like having this on the back. But anyways, the biggest difference 
uh, and the main reason I did this is if you can see the tank is no longer sitting up front with all the weight on the tongue I've now moved it back it's not you know hundred percent right over the axle but uh, it's definitely not right on the tongue like it was um, that video that I made uh, the first video on my setup I know there was um, at least one person that you know left a comment saying you know that you don't need to have that much weight on the tongue and uh, he's absolutely correct and what I did was I tried to keep um, no more than a quarter of a tank in it and you know I really didn't even like having that much in it you know um, but definitely a, a big difference I could tell immediately putting this further back closer to the axle uh, not having it sit on the tongue um, but you know doing that I had to change some things now my you know I, I slid my generator forward a little bit but my compressor is still the same you know hose reel still mounted back here so it's pretty much the same back here but instead of having my pressure washer back here um, I moved it up front and so I had to make a had to get a longer whip hose made so it could run you know all the way to the back and I actually made it too long but I, I'm perfectly fine with that rather be it too long than than too short and um, and I, I actually really like uh, the way this is set up so far and um, so what I've done oh and so I had a uh, thing it was a North Star uh, pump it was four gallon a minute at 60 psi um, but my problem that I was having was running it with don't pay any attention to that this is I, I built this so this is a predator six and a half or 212 cc engine with a uh, cat pump that's two and a half gallon a minute at um, right under 3,000 psi 2800 psi now that's working pressure while you're on the trigger uh, it's one of the things I don't I, I mean it's one of the things I like about cats they don't overrate their stuff um, so yeah and this is this is my um, gas pressure washer for doing uh, detailing for doing vehicles um, although I have I have done some surface cleaning and and I've washed uh, actually I've even got some two-story homes that didn't have really high peaks but I do have another pressure washer it's four gallon a minute um, and I'm and I'm looking at um, upgrading that right now. It's got a general pump on it that's four gallon a minute, 4,200 psi. I'm looking at upgrading to a cat pump that's gear driven because the one I have right now is uh, direct drive. I'm looking at going to a gear driven cat pump that's four and a half gallon a minute at I think 3,500 psi. Um, and that's that's for doing house washing. What I was just talking about. But as you can see, so I've got a filter coming out of my tank right here and um, I, I put quick connects on pretty much everything uh, at least that I'm gonna be taking on and off on a regular basis um, and so coming off of that um, I have half inch ID um, braided PVC tubing and it goes into the top right there and then it's got another little filter that came came with this uh, pump and tank and so that's that's the thing is I got this this is still I believe this is still four gallon at 60 psi so it's basically the same thing um, but it's mounted on a two gallon tank and this tank has a, a bladder in it and so what it does is it pumps you know two gallons of water in it right at up to 60 psi and the reason I, I got this was because with my other pump that it was just hooked directly from uh, the tank and then you know pumping straight to the pressure washer um, it was cutting you know in and out in and out in and out and so not only is is that wear and tear on the um, the pump on the pressure switch uh, but it's also not good for your your pressure washer pump so that's why I got this is because this is uh, it's more consistent um, and immediately I could tell uh, a difference you know with it not pulsating so but yeah I've got um, the, uh, the half inch coming off 
and um, goes into uh, I've got a splitter here and uh, this is these are by the way all these fittings uh, that shut off right there um, these right here the one that I've got on the end right there these are all high flow fittings they they have a much bigger hole in it I think it's a half inch hole as opposed to most of your little shutoffs that have a tiny if you look in there a tiny little hole I'm not sure what size it is but it's definitely restricting your flow and so um, I've tested it I can get you know uh, upwards of five gallon a minute out of these um, through these uh, shutoffs these high flow shutoffs um, but I've got one line that runs over here that I hook up to my pressure washer be it my gas one or um, my new uh, Sunjo um, SPX 9004 that I really love um, but then I've got another line that comes over here that I use to uh, fill up buckets. I also have one of these expandable hoses and it's just got a regular garden hose nozzle on the end of it. And um, I actually end up using this thing quite a bit instead of um, having my pressure washer out to do the wheels and tires and stuff. If I'm just cleaning the wheels and tires, uh, then sometimes I just take a garden hose out. Sometimes I just use a garden hose period instead of the pressure washer. Um, and, and that's the thing for guys that um, are looking at getting into detailing, you could take, you know, whatever size water tank you want to, you know, you don't have to have one of these uh, huge ones and um, get you, I, I would highly recommend this setup here. I got it off of Amazon for like, 219 or something but get you this one that's got the uh, tank on it and it'll it won't pulsate um, and and this is you know four gallon a minute at 60 psi I actually like uh, the fact that this one's got a little pressure gauge on it you know it's not necessary but like I said I, I really so far like the setup I haven't had it long but I really like it um, but yeah, you could get you a water tank of whatever size. You could get you this, get you a uh, marine battery or a deep cycle battery. You don't want just a regular battery. You want to get a deep cycle battery. And um, and like me, I've got a charger. I've got a uh, charger. I got that from Harbor Freight. Uh, I really like that charger. Um, it goes two amp, eight amp, and 15 amp, or you can leave it on auto. And uh, it's got some different settings in there to maintain it. Um, now, obviously, I've got mine running over to my generator. And so, as I'm using my battery, I'm also charging it. Um, and then, say, at night, like, but if you didn't have a generator on your setup, what you could do is just, you know, if possible, when you get home at night, because your, your battery should have plenty enough juice to, uh, and this battery here, I want to say it was like 90 bucks maybe. I think it was under 100. And you should have plenty enough battery if it's fully charged to do um, more than one car. If you're, if all you're using is a garden hose, no um, fresh washer or, or both. Either way, I've done it both ways. But point being is you could have just an electric pump and a battery, water tank of whatever size, and then get you a battery charger. And I want to say that charger was like 30 bucks with the coupon. Uh, everything, if I go to Harbor Freight, I always use a coupon. But um, you could absolutely, and then get you a, you know, a hose pipe. I, I recommend, I got that expandable one off of Amazon. Forget how much it was, but it's been holding up uh, really well. And, um, and, and you're ready to go. You can wash cars and you don't need a pressure washer. Uh, because that four gallon a minute at 60 psi is you know that's all some people have out of their house pressure um, and flow so it's definitely enough to wash a car with I promise you um, you could even get away I've got a, a other pump in the truck that I think is three gallon a minute at like 50 psi and I've used it to wash cars it's fine so um, 
Then I've got my air hose reel. I got this reel from uh, Harbor Freight. It was like 20 bucks. They've actually got a new version that instead of it being yellow, it's all black. I thought about getting it just because I don't love that yellow, but I guess I could paint this one too. Um, and so um, then I had a guy give me this first 50 foot of hose uh, i think it's husky hose and it's like the hybrid hose you know where it's still flexible in cold weather so i like it but then my last 50 foot is um i think it's called diablo hose i got it from harbor freight it's also like the hybrid hose that uh stays flexible in cold weather and so i, I really like that hose had um someone not give me this one i'd have got two of those um but yeah, I don't, I think that's pretty much it. You know, I don't have a super complicated uh, setup. Like I said, the only thing um, that I end up swapping out is that pressure washer there. If I go to wash a house, um, then I put that one on. Um, uh, and I've got a, a, you know, six gallon bucket that I, I throw on. That's what I put my, my cam in, draw it up through. But, um, yeah so far I'm, I'm really liking uh redoing this like i said i really so far like that pump with that tank the way that it makes it consistent and it's not pulsating um and it seems like i've got a little more free space doing it this way so but uh you know if y'all have any questions definitely leave it down in the comments and um and i'll answer it and uh until the next time, y'all either be good or be good at it.